All right, everybody, this is Shake and Bake from www.shakespub.net. I'm a 30-plus year gamer. That's right, an old coot, still gaming strong. Um, and what I'm trying to do is really give back to the gaming community, to my fellow gamers out there when I have the opportunity to do so. So I'm starting out this video in Stalker, Call of Pripyat, the Misery 2.1 mod, really just to prove a point. This game uh, really will put a strain on your system. Uh, especially if you have it maxed out like I do, which I do on most all games I play. And even with Fraps running uh, full frame, 60 frames a second, I can still record, play the game uh, wonderfully. Okay, and so what I want to say is, leading into this next part of the video, is it's not because of just what's on my system. My GPU, my CPU, uh, my, my much RAM I have, uh, my operating system. It really is because I keep it up to date. And I keep that baby humming 24-7, but I don't spend really much time doing it. I do use a program uh, to do that, and that is System Mechanic Pro 12.5. I've been using System Mechanic for at least the last 10 years, and I love it. And so, again, here's a chance for me to tell you about this program. If you're a gamer uh, and you're not using something, you might want to take a look at this. I encourage you to. And also swing by www.shakespub.net where you can pick up a uh, promo code, a coupon code, that's going to get you 50% uh, off. So let's go into the program and check it out. Okay, so here we are. Here's what System uh, Mechanics Professional uh, 12.5 Pro looks like on your desktop. Obviously, this is maximized. It can be much smaller. Um, here's what I'm going to start off with first. This is probably one of the simplest programs to use that is doing so much good for your system without you really even knowing it, and that's why I love it. Um, when you come here, this is basically the desktop view, the initial uh, view you'll look at, and right away this is dashboard. This is this was so simple about it. Yeah, it's so powerful. It will tell you pretty quick the overall health of your PC, uh, health and security, and it'll be yellow or red depending on where you're at. You can see I just uh, did mine, so it's all green and real simple. And you come in here, and if you let's say you you want to reanalyze, you just click this. And you can do a quick analysis, and it doesn't take long at all, as you can see. And it will come back with the results of that quick analysis. You could also do a deep analysis if you really wanted to go through the whole system. It does take longer, uh, but you're going to get a much more detailed report back on what needs to be fixed, if anything. So now you can see I got this overall yellow now. And what happens is it'll say repair now or view problem. I can come in here, and it's saying I have some clust uh, clutter on my system. And so I just check this. I can hit remove, um, remove now or inspect it. It's done. I go back to my overview, and it's all good to go. That simple. So that's like when you just check in and look at it. Uh, if you look through this, they've got this thing called active care. And this is what I love is uh, basically this whole laundry list of things that System Mechanic uh, Pro 12.5 can be doing for you without you even knowing. It's doing it in the background. Um, and back here... You know, it's uh, optimizing your startup, your internet configuration, uh, your system drive, uh, recover unused memory, uh, defragment and comp compact your registry, um, repair core data conflicts, uh, registry. I mean, it goes on and on and on, and these are all outstanding things. Does it automatically in the background, and it does it when you're not active. So if you're um, not running a game or doing something that's, you know, taxing the system in the background it's doing this stuff. But as soon as it detects you're doing something uh, where you need all that memory and that CPU power, it will stop when it's doing. So it, it, it's really good about that. Um, let's talk about this right here, this live boost here. So this is really a neat feature here in 12.5, the pro version. Um, First one's OptiCore. Automatically balance CPU demand for maximum responsiveness. Um, so basically, it's constantly monitoring what's going on in your system, and it's preventing background tasks from monopolizing CPU resources during periods of high activity. So when you're in a game, it's going to ensure that CPU is focused on supporting you in that game so it's running as optimized as possible. They got this other thing called Ramjet, okay? Automatically maximizes available RAM, okay? So basically, it uh, releases the RAM for unused background or idle processes and commits those 
to something that, that is really straining or taxing your system, i.e., these games we're playing nowadays. Uh, Accelerate, okay, automatically optimizes file organization, uh, it streamlines, f streamlines file and data organization by preventing fragmented writes to SSD and traditional hard disk drive. So it's doing that stuff automatically, okay? So right here on my top one, OptiCore, it's really set on its own. It's, it says 22 total CPU lags avoided. And down in Accelerate, it says 1,014 total file fragments prevented. I didn't even know about it, and I don't want to know about it, okay? Uh, let's look at Internet security. I already have my own uh, system, AVG, and so I'm not having to use what they have, uh, but that is an option for you if you want to um, use their Internet security. Uh, toolboxes. Now, this is really neat here. you got all-in-one toolboxes, and you have this thing called Start PC Tool Care. It basically will go through your whole system. Um, it, it will, you, it'll, and here's the areas, you know, PC Accelerator, accelerator PC Repair, PC Cleanup, and PC Security. It goes through all of those things. It does a diagnostic, it repairs, it cleans, all in one. Really awesome. Uh, it has a total registry revitalizer. Again, uh, keeps that registry clean, organized, and free of errors. All in one solution right there. And then you have individual tools. So you have all of these individual tools. You could go through um, and decide what you want to use and not use. It'll find you up-to-date drivers, um, remove crud, energy booster, memory mechanic. I use this one quite a bit right here. You just go in, hit start. I look at the memory that I have allocated and what I'm actually using. I hit this, this simple. It goes through, finds any fragmented uh, RAM that's sitting around, frees it up, and then gives me as much as I can possibly use for the games that I'm going to be playing. Let's let that finish up. And because I do this so much, I don't have much to recover. Um, what else is there? Program accelerator, defragment your hard drive, uh, configure boot time defragmentation, SSD accelerator, uh, Accelerate registry compactor, and net booster. That's just under this one here. Now you can enhance protection, clean up system clutter, repair problems, uh, ensure personal privacy, manage system configuration, recover deleted data, perform diagnostics, and manage add-ons. I, I mean, it just goes on and on. But again, you can use those if you want. You can go in and mess with those. Or you can just set this thing, basically, automatic pilot and let it do it all for you. Uh, you can get reports in here on your history, reliability, and this IntelliStatus, and it'll tell you all things about the history of your RAM, hard drive space, startup programs, running programs. Really, really awesome. That was just really quick going through there. Again, it's so simple to use. And to be honest, I just rely on this top screen right here. It always is telling me what's working, what's not. And then it says, hey, Shake, can we fix it for you? I say, yeah, go for it. Uh, and it's a done deal. So really powerful. It runs in the back end of your system without you really even knowing it. And I, I pull, I'm going to pull this up for you my resource monitor. I want to show you um, right here under the CPU. I know because some people will be worried that this is going to eat up valuable space within their CPU or their memory, uh, but actually it's the opposite. It's barely, it has a footprint, and it's actually um, actively freeing up space for you. So if you look at right here under the CPU, I mean right now, uh, where is it here? Let me find it for you. Okay, right here, it's at uh, 48 threads. Um, AVG's above it. It'll jump around a little bit in here, but if you look over to the right also, it's 0 0.02 average on my CPU. I mean, it's barely, like I said, it's, you don't notice it. It is that low. Um, so I just wanted you to see that. I'm not an expert at reading all the numbers in this report as far as CPU and RAM, but I will just tell you I've never felt the impact from running this at all, and you can look at that closer in the details, uh, but again, no impact that I've seen with my system, and in fact, again, it's freed up space on my system, which has totally helped uh, commit all those resources to the game, okay? Um, what else? Uh, so the new things in 12.5 is this live boost technology, real-time command performance, 
uh, deeper error correction, increased system stability. Now, one thing that's going on uh, that I didn't say is this uh, is always getting optimized. It's, it, you don't just buy this and it just sits here and then you run it every once in a while and then you clean things up. That's not uh, what this does. What's powerful about this is it has these tune-up definitions, okay? Uh, and basically, these are coming out, it sounds like, weekly. And uh, they're always looking for ways to improve your system. And it doesn't matter what operating system you're using. Uh, it doesn't matter your configurations. It is adjusting to all of that. So even if you update your system, put in new hardware, new software, uh, whatever, it changes with your system and is looking for ways to then make your system run better. That's what I also love about this is this thing is alive and breathing, basically, and it's doing it without you even noticing. So you will get updates. It says, you know, system mechanic needs to update. Uh, you know, there's there's um, there's new tune-up definitions. You update it. It's done. doesn't take long at all. Uh, pretty, pretty incredible. So I think that's about it. I want you to, um, you know, do some research on it. If you have questions, post in the comments. Uh, I Go by www.shakespubnet. I'll put the link below. I have some uh, coupon codes there, and I'll see. I'll, I'll talk to the guys again at um, uh, System Mechanics, see if I can get some more of those, some specials. I'll post them there. Use those. Uh, again, 50% off. Uh, it's a great product. Once you get the license for the product, you can use it on as many PCs in your house as you want to. Um, it's just really great. Again, use it for 10 years. I'm loving this new 12.5. Uh, and again, don't fool yourself. Just because you may use the Windows, you know, compress your files and get some RAM, it is not going to be as effective as this, trust me. Um, and there are other programs out there, but I found this one to be the most effective and the simplest to use. And the other part is I never have to touch it. It does it all for me. Um, and I know you need that if you're going to run these games top end, uh, even with a good system in place. So, again, post any questions you got below. Um, and I'll try to answer them as quick as I can. I appreciate uh, the support. And again, uh, hopefully you guys can enjoy uh, the benefits of this special.